one other piece of information that we could use to determine whether or not a certain SNP has, is caused by natural selection or genetic drift. In other words, whether it's being selected for because it's advantageous or whether it's just random and it's not detrimental. So that's why it was kept is by looking at transitions versus transversions. So if we think back to the structure of DNA, we have two different categories of nucleotides or nitrogenous bases in our DNA. And these are purines, which have a double ring structure and pyrimidines, which have a single ring structure. And of course you could ignore the uracil here because that's an RNA. We're gonna focus on DNA right now. If you think about the base pairing rules, you have A pairing with T and G pairing with C. It always goes this way. So you always have a double ring pairing with a single ring. And if you recall, this means that the width of the DNA is always going to be the same throughout the entire length of the DNA, right? If you put two double ring structures together, if you had an A pairing with a G for some reason, a, a mistake, then the DNA would be wider. This is one of the ways that DNA repair enzymes can detect uh, damage to the DNA. So what is a transition versus a transversion? That is a comparison of changing within one of these categories versus across one of these categories. So a transition is going from a double ring to a double ring. So an A being mutated to a G, that would be a transition. Not that big of a deal. And a transversion would be an A going to a T or vice versa, a T going to an A. And it's a bigger deal because you're changing the size of the ring structure. And so that could um, result in a lot of different things happening during the copying of DNA, during the repair of DNA. And so it's less likely to occur if it is, or it's less likely to occur and be kept. Let's put it that way. Uh, in other words, again, as we said, repair enzymes might not detect a transition. So going from a T to a C, right? or going from an A to a G. But if you're changing from an A to a T, that's more likely to cause a change in the, uh, the DNA that's gonna be detected. It's more likely to cause a change in the protein overall. And so these transversions, and think about, I think transversion conversion. So we're going, between categories, not staying within, a transversion is more likely to be kept in a population because of natural selection. In other words, it's not gonna be a mistake that that happens. It's going to be, um, it's going to be necessary or advantageous. It, there's not gonna be something, um, it's not going to just occur randomly. So let me just show you this diagram as well. Um, so this shows all the possible transitions and transversions. Uh, and so again, you see the double ring structures on the left, the single ring, ring structures on the right. Transitions are between uh, or within uh, you know, single ring to single ring or double ring to double ring. Transversions, conversions, it's double ring to a single ring or single ring to the double ring. 